Welcome to Japanese cooking channel in Bay Area. Today, I'm gonna make chawanmushi, a savory egg custard. Everybody loves this menu from baby to the elderly. The ingredients are quite simple. However, surprisingly, <laughs> however, surprisingly are difficult to succeed. Honestly speaking, I failed over and over again and I didn't like it to make it. Now that I know what it is, so I often make it like twice a month or a third times a month. So there are two points for your success. The one is the to prepare the great delicious dashi. I did how to make it in the easiest way in my previous video. However, I'd like to show you how to make authentic ultimate dashi preparation today. The another is ta-da! So prepare the timer. So let's get started. Prepare dashi broth. Soak kombu kelp for several hours. Boil water gradually. To boil from low temp will help extract umami, savoriness, which is regarded as one of the basic five tastes. Right before boiling, add bonito flakes. Turn off the heat when water is boiled and leave it until cooling down. Now you've got delicious golden dashi broth. Make egg mixture. Crack the egg and beat well. Pour three times of quantity of dashi to egg. Season two pinches of salt and one teaspoon of soy sauce. Stir well to get good mix. Prepare ingredients. Today, I prepared the chicken breast tenderloin, gingo nuts, and boiled spinach. Cut them into small pieces and add two cups. These toppings depend on each family. When I'm not in the mood for cooking, I just add cut seaweed or a dice of rice cake. Fill mixture up two cups and tidy up those appearance. Drain the egg mixture with a sieve. Like me and those who live outside of Japan don't have these small cups. You can use whatever you have, like mugs, instead. Get rid of the bubbles on the surface by spoon to make it clean. It's a very minor detail, but I suggest to do this because it affects texture and looks. Place the cups in a frying pan filled with a half of boiled water. Set a timer and steam on a high heat with the lid for 2 minutes. I'm gonna set timer twice. The first one is for 2 minutes. And the second one is 5 minutes to check steaming condition. After the first 2 minutes timer, check to see there is a whitey, cloudy color or scum on the surface. Next, set the timer for 5 minutes and turn on gentle heat. The length of second timer depends on your situation, like how large your pan is, the number of cups you cook at the same time. After second timer is finished, please shake one of the cups and make sure the custard is jiggling. After you confirmed jelly-like texture, turn off the heat. This is the hardest part of the process. The common fella in making it gives a porous and spongy texture, so be careful not to heat them too strong or too long. How was today's recipe? I made chawamushi by using the fry pan to make it simplified. If you feel there are not enough dishes for your dinner, 
you should add this. Traditional ingredients are chicken breast, tenderloin, shrimp, a ginkgo, and so on. However, you can add anything you want. It makes your guests and family members excited to dig into their cup to find what items are hidden in your chawanmushi. So please try this brothy, smooth chawanmushi when you get the fresh eggs and delicious, great uh, dashi broth. So thank you very much for watching today and I hope to see you on my next video. Thank you. Stay safe and have a nice day. Bye.